guys, welcome back to Vlogmas day 13. So I didn't film much at all this last weekend um, on days 11 and 12 because my husband and I were celebrating our sixth wedding anniversary. We went up to my mother-in-law's cabin up in Sholo, Arizona, and we just hung out. We stayed in our Christmas jammies all day. We watched Yellowstone, we ate junk food, and it was just a really fun time. So. Um, today is day 13 of Vlogmas and it is obviously late at night. Cash is asleep, so I am vlogging from my hotel bathroom. Um, so yeah, I just finished editing Vlogmas day 1 through 10, I think. Um, and so I will have those up for you guys probably long before you see this video. Um, but yeah, do you want to see a little tour of my closet? Isn't this so exciting? <laughs> Um, yeah, our closet's a little bit full because it's winter time, so all of our things are kind of thicker, but, um, yeah. Here's my amazing bathroom. <laughs> um, yeah, today was a really fun day. The kids are finishing up working on their Native American tribe project, so it was kind of boring. Um, tomorrow they'll be doing the same thing. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, though, should be really fun, so I will be bringing my computer, or my computer, can't talk my camera back to school with me tomorrow and vlogging real vlogmas so we can look forward to day 14 in just a moment. Um, can I do the barbecue ranch salad, please? Good job, get all of it. Good morning, my friends. Happy December 14th, it's day 14. I know that I've been a little bit inconsistent with my Vlogmas days, but you know what? The fact that I'm filming and editing and getting videos up is like a miracle so I'm gonna just mark it as a win even though I haven't filmed every single day in December it's fine I'm counting it as a win so cash and I are here super early I have a 715 IEP meeting good job cash can I move the cage back then and so we are just here early um, busting out some of our daily chores things like that Cash has a book exchange in class this week, so I'm going to wrap that real quick. And then he is vacuuming the rat cage. I just love this kid, man. He is so self-sufficient. Good job, move him back, carefully. Um, anyway, so yeah, I need to wrap that, and then I do have an IEP meeting at 7.15, followed by a morning duty. I also got myself a new mouse for my work computer uh, because the other one was super old and it was starting to go out I had I think it fell or something last year and broke and I was just still using it and it was fine for a while but it started to like not charge anymore and it just wasn't working for me so anyways I ordered a new one on Amazon it's just one of these like 
basic um, wireless mouses, mice. This is by Cinda. And I actually ended up getting myself a keyboard as well to match, so that should be here today. Um, but basically what you do is you just charge it and it looks like this. You plug in the little thing into your device and then it works. So we're gonna plug this in to my computer, see if it will work, and go from there. See if it'll register. I like how it lights up. That's really neat. Um, the keyboard that I bought is white and lights up like this as well, so. Oh, it works, yay! Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna keep the box and stuff here in my classroom so that when it breaks or dies, I can make sure that it's good. So I'm eating breakfast from the hotel this morning. I don't know if I'm gonna eat the eggs, um, but the potatoes looked pretty tasty. So, okay, grades are done. They are submitted and posted. So second quarter is a wash, it's all finished. What I'm doing is I'm starting to plan for next quarter and I'm gonna be using mystery science next quarter. I decided to make my life easier and since mystery science is aligned to every single one of my standards, both Arizona and next generation, I'm gonna just use it with fidelity since I don't have a curriculum to follow. And since it goes with those standards, I feel like it's a really good one to use. So why reinvent the wheel? It comes with all the printouts, everything you need. I sent a bunch of files yesterday to our printing pros, which are basically just high school kids who print everything for teachers, which is great. It saves our school paper, doesn't count against your copy count, and I don't have to do it. So hopefully those show up by the end of the week. I also have to do this training for a field trip that we're gonna be going on to the Arizona Science Center, which is a really fun field trip because everything there is aligned to a fourth grade science standard. It's amazing. So I'm gonna be doing that this morning before. I think so, I feel like this is an important goal to continue to work on. Hey you guys, so it is my prep period and I am sitting here doing some grading for um, the PBLs that I assigned. They are due tomorrow, but a lot of kids have turned them in already. So I'm just taking this opportunity to get ahead on grading them so that I don't have to do it over winter break. Hey you guys, so we are currently in our house and it looks like they did some touch-ups today, which is grand. Um, as you can see, they have taken up the floors and they did some drywall repair today. So it is looking much better than it did before. Um, there were quite a few things that were wrong with it, but it looks like they have fixed all that. So I'm here. What? No, there's no more milk in there at all, honey. Um, because I'm here to look at some floor options. So these are the three floor options that I am pondering. Oh, just put that right here, okay? Thank you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, so this is the floor that I originally wanted. And they don't, um, our builder said not to go with this just because of the wear. Um, I guess amount so I guess this one looks the most like it so what I'm gonna do is just lay this out in here and see which one I like best
Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm wearing the exact same outfit <laughs> that I wore last Wednesday because today is spirit day and it's wear an ugly sweater day. And this is the only one that I have that's not in storage. So I'm wearing the same shirt again. Um, so as you can probably tell, I have a little cold, which sucks, but it is what it is. Hey, buddy. Help yourself. Um, Cash and I are here. We are getting ready for the day. I'm going to be doing some stations today. Um, after I do... Mommy. Mommy. Huh? Mommy. <clears throat> you want a piece of cheese? Put these back. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some STEM stations today after we do a gallery walk of all of the kids' 3D um, Native American models. So I had an assignment where the kids had to do a presentation on a Native American tribe, basically like a research project. And then to go with it, they had a take home portion which was where they had to create a 3D model of a dwelling that their tribe would live in and then bring it in. And today is the day that they are due. So I will take you guys in there to see all of them. But we're gonna start our day with a 30 minute gallery walk. So we'll go in there. I'll give every child a couple of sticky notes. They are to give two glows and two grows. And um, before we go in there, we'll talk about what a glow and a grow is. And then they'll go in there and they'll do a gallery walk, look at everybody's projects and then um, after that, we're going to do STEM centers for the last 60 minutes of class. So what I'm trying to do right now is set up the center slides so that they um, so that they rotate automatically um, through each station. So I have a bunch of STEM bins that I like to use. But anyway, I have a bunch of like STEM um, bins and I have a bunch of like other random materials that I could totally use for STEM stations. So like a box of Legos, a bunch of wooden blocks, and like put a little challenge at each table, give them 10 minutes at each table, and then that's it for our day. Um, I do have a, a guest teacher coming this afternoon to teach a lesson to my third period class, my homeroom class. So they will do things a little bit differently, but I have them all day tomorrow and all day Friday to myself. So um, I really don't need to rush through them today um, because I have them all day tomorrow and Friday. So we will probably not do our gallery walk or our glow and grow only because we do have another thing going on this afternoon. So anyway, I'm looking for, I had this like center slideshow thing that was super helpful, but I can't seem to find it. So um, we will see. Wanted to show you guys really quick. I got myself a new mouse and keyboard for my classroom. Both of them are from Amazon. I really love this like LED light up feature. I just think it's really cool. It makes me feel like a fancy gamer. Um, so anyway, I got the mouse. Um, it's a seed. Cinda, I think I showed you guys yesterday and then here's my keyboard. It's by Red Thunder And it's just a Bluetooth or I guess um, comes with like the little USB um, Wireless keyboard and I love how it lights up. So I feel extra fancy um, You can change like the settings on them and you just charge it So I thought that was really exciting and it just made my whole day. Isn't that stupid how it just made my day? Um, but anyway so I'm getting all of my slides pulled up for the day. I created just a generic um, timer that I'll be using for the centers. And now I'm going to go and figure out what is going to be at each center, so.
What is today? What? Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah. Is it Friday yet? No. What day is it? Friday. Oh. Thursday. How many days left in here do we have? I want to go home now. Then go. You don't. Can I just like touch the. Where's Raphael? There you are. May I go to get a drink of water? No. Sit down. No. Thank you. Thank you, Sama. What are you looking at, Poudini? Huh? All right, all right, all right. Who wants a cheeseburger? I want a no, there's no salad today. Yay! I want Here's a better question. Who doesn't want a cheeseburger today? Three of you. You guys are weird. Their cheeseburger will be bushy. 24. No. I have a whole Everybody wants a cheeseburger. That's because they're the best tasty no, treat. No, McDonald's is. Yeah. No. No. McDonald's is disgusting. What do you want me to do with this? What are you looking at? What are you supposed to be? Um, I think you know what's on the gallery. Oh, it's in the other room. Where is it? Oh, that's the hall. Yeah, we opened it. It's in your old room. Yeah. All right, I'll go check it out. Yes, go, go. Hey, Max, go over here. I got a Max and I got a Cindy Lou Who in the other room. Stop, you better go over and look, who are you supposed to be? Rudolph? I'm her dog. You know, you really should have painted that mask red. Alright, I'm it's open. Yeah. Hey, you guys. So it is way later in the day. Something turned on. This did. Cash and I are here at the hotel. We're eating dinner. We're cleaning up. Oh, okay. And um, we're packing because tomorrow we're going to be leaving. Cash is pretty much going to be gone like the entire week. Um, Christmas break. He's not going to be in this hotel. Um, because we're going to be coming down um, only for like one night. I'm just going to come with Scott for one night and then I'll go back up and then we'll come down for another night or two and then go back up and then come down for another night and then go back up so um, it's gonna be a lot of staying up in Prescott at my mom's house um, so we're just packing and cleaning up because we're hoping to not be here much for a while and then fingers crossed when break is over is when our house will be done so hopefully we'll only have to spend a few more nights here was the day before Christmas break and all through the world, all the teachers were stirring and needing a nap. <laughs> hey guys, happy Friday. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. <laughs> um, today is December, what is the date? 17th? Uh, yeah. Today is December 17th. It's the last day of school before break. And we're all ready and excited for it. Woo woo woo! We're gonna just take deep breaths. We're gonna make it through the day. Look how cute your jammies are. <laughs>
Yeah. So we're here at the beautiful Prescott Resort to see the Gingerbread Village. Oh, I've never been. <laughs>